Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It's Monday. It's Market Outlook time. Let's take a look at this week at Festival of Football. What content I think could be coming. Market movements with these insanely hyped PTG cards and the insane content that we had yesterday in terms of upgrade packs. Let's go. Right, an 81 plus player pick with not three, but four options. I got an insane pull. I want to talk to you guys about that as well. And also talk about how I think these nation SBCs, like the Jimenez that we had yesterday, could be very, very hype and also good value. So also... My gut feeling with that card design was correct. So what we talked about yesterday in the video, I don't know what was leaked on the PlayStation Store, but it does look like that blue card design is actually going to be the Nation card design and not Man of the Match. So I'm not sure if they're doing Man of the Matches, what they're going to do for that. So I don't know, but hopefully we do see those. I think a lot of us want to see those and hopefully we have more information on that coming later on this week. Speaking of these PTG cards, right? These are the brand new hype cards and they're down. They are down tonight on the market because we have had a great thing called Squad Battle Rewards that has knocked the prices down for a lot of these cards tonight because also we had a Europe and Asia Milestone SBC uh, that released or that required a lot of gameplay in squad battles. And of course, with those rewards dropping tonight, a lot of people grinded those. They got some extra packs. And I think that is hitting the market a little bit heavier than usual tonight with the supply on the PTG cards. Now, these are pretty rare items. If you take a look on the market, they don't have a lot of pages of supply. Um, I know it's a little bit later at night right now, so that might help that as well. But I'm planning on spending my 2.5 million coins that I have liquid at the moment on a lot of cards tonight, right? Sunday nights when the market is in the second half of the year like this, uh, a lot of stuff even rebounds up into the morning just because there's so much selling, especially if it's out of packs. We're going to take a look at some out of packs cards today and just some ways that you might be able to make coins even if you're watching this video early Monday morning when a lot of these prices are still low because I do expect a lot of that selling to stop with weekend league ending and a bit of a bounce back to happen. So again, the thing that I'm going to keep comparing these cards to though, I'm going to keep comparing these Path to Glory cards to the What If cards because again, they're very similar in the fact that, yes, their upgrades wouldn't happen right away. There were gameplay objectives, whether it was wins, clean sheets, or goals for these cards uh, until they could you know, get their upgrades. So we take a look at a guy like Mertens and, and his graph and, you know, obviously we had the crazy dip from What If Team 2 because we had the um, the foot player days for the first time here on that Monday and Tuesday, Wednesday of that March 8th to 10th window. But then you see this Merton kind of, Mertens kind of rise back up. Uh, and that happened with a lot of these cards. So I'm not entirely sure what the low point is going to be for these PTG cards. I feel like it might be different for everyone because they're in packs for one week. And by the end of this one week, some teams, of course, as we get into like match day two, uh, which starts, you know, later this week, you got guys from like Italy. So like Verratti might be on two wins by the time we get to weekend league rewards, Belgium, uh, you know, you've got Thorgan Hazard, you've got the Netherlands, uh, you know, you've got your Denmark Christian Eriksen, uh, hope he gets well as well. Um, and rests up and stuff. It's good to see all the, the positive news coming out from uh, the Denmark side, you know, releasing some of his statements and quotes. That's really good to see that he is doing well and recovering. That's awesome to see. I hope that continues. Uh, but again, the point is that some of these cards, would, before they go out of packs, they might be on two wins, right? There's some potential for that. So I want to talk through more of these card prices and how I think they will move throughout the week. But regardless, they're low tonight. They're low because they're getting supplied. This Foden was one, extinct at one point six because you know what boys i think it's coming home i think it's coming home man <laughs> the euros are coming home um england with a one nil victory yesterday that was cool to watch also the netherlands game versus ukraine was an absolute banger of a watch yesterday 2-0 up from the netherlands and then ukraine comes back with an insane goal from yarmolenko that was that was an incredible watch anyways if you did not see that game watch the highlights it was a banger anyways a lot of these cards are down from that supply. I do think some of them will bounce back. I'm trying to pick my spots, right? I'm trying to pick the ones that are pretty rare that I think people are going to wake up on their Monday and, and want to go and try out, right? I mean, wow, Verratti, 500,000 coins flat. That is pretty low for me. Again, that Foden is very, very low. Even Llorente, who is extinct, and he's got a game today. Of course, Spain have a game today. He's got one page of supply on the market, so not a ton there. Um, but I'm very, if this would go down to one point, you know, if this went to one, three, five, I'd be buying that easy. Cause I think this is probably going extinct at one, five again. That's almost a no brainer call, uh, going into the day today 
on Monday. So I do think you'll see some of these PTG cards rebound back up. And again, for the rest of the market, if you're looking right now on an early Monday morning or you know time frame, uh, this this Mbappe was down a lot today. He was down at 1.07, 1.06. I saw some 1.4 flat for this record breaker. Again, what you're noticing the common trend here is really rare items, really rare items. Even some of these Libertadores group stage cards. I think are really good trades as well because they're pretty rare. So I'm keeping an eye on some of these like Bo, like Chan Kalei. Some of these baby icons, I always talk about these as, oh my gosh, 400K for Pushkas. Like, bro, I can't, I can't turn that up, man. The next cheapest one's like 450K. GG's, all right, I just made like 40,000 coins right there. That's the kind of stuff that you can be looking for on the market right now because you have people that are panic selling their weekend league, getting coins to do player picks. And again, that's going to take a lot of coins off the market this week. And also what I think you're seeing is a lot of the high tier market, right? Look at these, these icons, right? Baby Eusebio, who I sold literally two weeks ago uh, for 3.2 million coins is now down to 2.4. And it's because we have the Griezmann at three and a half million coins, a Vinicius at four mil, a Havertz uh, two and a half million coins as well. I think you're seeing these really expensive cards are making some people on this game sell what they have to go and try these ones out. So I'm finding that to be very, very interesting. But again, one thing we always know is that when player picks are out, a lot of coins are drained off the market. And I think that is also kind of bringing down the market right now because this player pick is honestly really, really cracked. I know that the pack weight is not going to be insane for everybody. I did 30 I did 30 of these 81 plus player picks, one of four players. They gave us that extra player in there and I smacked myself a big boy pull. Yes, that is correct. I just became a big Spain fan with this Marcus Llorente card packed untradeable. Uh, I got to fit in my team somehow and this is how I'm doing it right now. But um, I need to finish my weekend thing as well and I feel like my team's a bit defensive. But huge pull from me, th me there. I also got uh, Yaziki. I've seen people packing Davinson Sanchez, Delict, Acuna, Foden, a couple of Griezmanns people have sent to me on, on Twitter and stuff. So, you know, of course, everybody's going after these player picks, right? And I bet right now, rare golds have dropped a bit. I was buying rare golds and I was doing packs on stream tonight for 1.3 to 1.4K and actually they're still there. Wow. The demand for these cards is really, really high. I think a lot of people are doing player picks right now and this is even going to go higher. It's even going to go higher. I think commons are like maybe 700, 800 coins as well, 700 right now. So I think these prices are probably just gonna go even higher into the week if we don't have any more supply. Cause again, the lightning rounds are gonna be done and everybody's gonna be hitting those 81 plus packs because they know that they're just good, right? So that's one thing about the market this week that I, it doesn't make me scared, I guess, but it makes me a bit cautious. There's gonna be so many eyes in the SBC section doing these player picks and upgrade packs, that's going to make trading incredibly easy this week, but also a bit tricky because you're going to have to obviously get on the bids, look for those cards that are rare that people also want to buy and, you know, make sure that you're trading with cards that are hyped, right? Not trading with a card, you know, from like team of the week five or something like that, a card that people really aren't going to be buying at this stage of the game. They're going to be looking at team of the season cards, some really hyped promo cards, maybe some full birthdays. And of course, these brand new Path to Glory items or just, you know, some elite level players on this game as well even though this Mbappe is from you know back earlier in the year it's still going to maintain some height because it's rare the position change and it's Mbappe right so that's a big name player in this game uh and that's the kind of stuff that I'd be looking for this week like I can't believe I just got that push guys of 400k like that's that is a wild wild price for that push guys now we also had icon content yesterday right so just again, the focus is on SBCs so much. And I've been watching this job because I think at some point he's going to bounce back, but he hasn't hit that low point yet. Now, Garincha was like 2.2, 2.3 mil. And I believe that he has bounced back to 2.5. That's a common market movement that we see first day when these cards get an SBC is they get panic sold, then they bounce back from rarity. But I think, again, we're just all a little underwhelmed with how the icon content has been ran this year. We haven't had an icon upgrade SBC since, you know, like La Liga or Bundesliga team of the season. Like that, we're approaching like three to four weeks ago since we had the last icon upgrade SBC. And we had not three, just two icons released yesterday. Now they're out for 91 days. So they're out for a long time, which is, you know, basically like the rest of the game. If you think about it, that's almost three months. So that's going to take us like, into September, to be completely honest with you. these Garincha and, and Javi SBCs are going to be out end game, which the only positive that I see about this is 
at least now it looks like when they're going to release icons, they're going to be releasing them until the game is literally over. So we have basically the rest of the quote unquote FIFA 21 cycle to complete Garincha, to complete Javi. But again, this is when we need to see the big boy icons and we need to start seeing those icon upgrade packs. Now, with the Jimenez SBC as well, I'm very hyped about this card because again, 90 pace, I know the dribbling, I know the passing isn't that good. But with the Llorente links, the Atletico Madrid links that we have this year in FIFA, a lot of people have Tots Oblak. It's a very, not easy card to fit in your squad, but easier, right? I know Llorente is not cheap, but we had a Trippier SBC that's been out. We have the Renan Lodi level 30 card. Um, and I, I think this is a card that a decent amount of people will do. It's only 180K as well. Very easy to craft this week. Again, if you're doing the 81 plus player picks, and that's going to be a word that you hear a lot this week is the craft, right? So again, just be careful with those prices of cards on the market because yes, people are going to be submitting a lot of their coins. There's, you're already seeing the uh, effects of that with the weekend link sell-off. Um, and of course, the dropping prices on these PTG cards, uh, which is kind of very crazy in my opinion as well. Like if I see a Foden, you know, look at these open bids too. I mean, these cards are going to go for some crazy low open bids, which is what I plan on spending some of my coins on tonight. I kind of, I plan to split it up between some of these PTG cards and some of the, you know, team of the season and out of pack special cards as well. Kind of, you know, you know, you not put all my um, eggs in one basket, if you will, and kind of, you know, uh, diversify my portfolio of investments. But it's going to be a great time to do that, um, I think, because you will see the market bounce back a little bit just from rarity, right? Again, focus on the rare and the panic selling like this. This Pele is down so much. It's crazy. But anyways, uh, that's kind of what I'm thinking about that corner of the market. Now, fodder as well, too, right? Well, actually, before we talk about fodder, let me talk about these uh, PTG cards once more. You know, a lot of people are saying, I think a lot of people are going to be looking at these cards for a Thursday rewards time frame, which after seeing the supply tonight on squad battles, I do believe there's going to be an opportunity to either buy on Wednesday or Thursday. But if you are looking to buy any of these cards for your team, I don't really think that I would say do it just yet. Now, I don't think they're going to be reaching their lowest prices right now. A lot of them are very inflated, and we have good content coming out with this promo, right? With the player picks, with the Uruguay SBC today, um, I feel like there's more to come. I feel like there's more to come. So I would take a little bit of a risk here and wait later on into the week because, again, all it would take is for, you know, again, we have a big game coming up on Tuesday, France and Germany. Now, you know, one team is probably going to lose. And if it's a draw, that's a negative for both of these German cards and the Griezmann because that's going to affect their prices a lot. So that's the thing that I'm a bit interested in today. Of course, you've seen, right, as Switzerland did not get the result that they hope for. Zakaria is down a ton. Golovin is down a lot. Yaziki dropped a lot from day one. Those are all squads that were not able to get Ws in their first game of the Euros, uh, well, a, 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 an outright W that it would count towards their upgrade, right? Of course, Switzerland drew, uh, Russia fully lost. Um, but that's one thing that I find really interesting. So all it could take is, you know, uh, let's say in the next game, like against, again, France and Germany, let's say Germany wins 1-0, this Griezmann card's probably gonna drop off a lot because a lot of this price and a lot of the hype with these cards right now is that potential upgrade. So just be careful with that going out through the week. It's going to be hard to buy or to like find a legit buy time. But I do think a lot of these cards could potentially rise. They're going to hit a low point, whether it's impacts this week or maybe some sort of insane content um, hits maybe like on the weekend next week. But most likely during this week, a lot of these cards will probably hit a low point. Like this Davinson Sanchez, for the stats that he has being a Premier League center back, if this gets any, I mean, Colombia won tonight. So in the Copa America, they got that W, I believe, uh, unless something crazy happened. I checked the score in like the 88th minute. Brazil won. This Vinicius was like 4.5 mil. He's now down to 4 mil again. So these cards are going to be crazy to watch throughout the week this week. Now, again, I just mentioned SBC fodder. I want to go back to that, right? Now I'm going even back to the web page as well. Fodder is low. And it's going even lower, right? It's going even lower and it's crazy, right? We've got 84 rated cards back down to 4,000 coins. Again, this is what happened like two weeks ago. And I just kept saying, no brainer investment, no brainer investment. And here I am to say, if you have not club stocked or have thrown a couple extra cards on your transfer list, 84s, 85s, even some 86s on bid are an incredible, incredible value investment right now. Because again, it looks like EA is dropping the content this week. Now you could say, Nate, 
Uh, people are getting fodder from player picks. Yes, they are. They're getting fodder from player picks. But if we continue to have more player SBCs that come out, whether those are icon SBCs, you know, the player SBCs, P to G cards themselves, flashback SBCs, that's just going to be more um, upgrade packs that people do. And, you know, people aren't doing entire um, squad building challenges for like a card like Jimenez off of, um, you know, cards they have packed from upgrade packs unless they're doing a ton of them, right? They use some cards from upgrade packs, then they go out and they buy the rest. So we've got a plethora of SBCs here available. Jota still, right? Florenzi, Gutza. So it's going to be more of like an SBC focused week this week, which makes me like the fodder investment even more, right? Because the supply is kind of over. We had lightning rounds on the weekend and supply is kind of over. We're moving into more the demand portion of the week with SBCs. So I see that again being a really good investment, whether it's just to flip this week, like you might be able to buy fodder this week. And if we're going to have a team two of PTG cards coming this coming Friday, which I think is also possible, um, then you might have an opportunity to flip those cards then before they go lower later on in the week. And I would be looking at probably a, you know, Wednesday or Tuesday, you know, depending on the content that comes the next couple days. Wow. 1.32 for Phil Foden. Are you serious? Is that sitting? That is sitting. No way. These prices are dropping so much. It's nuts, bro. It is nuts. So I'm definitely going to get involved with a couple of these tonight because again, all it takes is a couple of people to wake up today on Monday and say, OMG, this card was extinct yesterday. I couldn't buy it. And uh, now I want to buy it. So I'm definitely buying a Foden tonight. I think that's one card that I need to get my hands on. If I see 1.3 mil, I'm literally pulling the trigger. Because again, you know, all, all I need to see is for him go to, to go to back to 1.4. And it's a big W. 1.32 sitting is blowing my mind. And I should probably be, be buying that. But since I'm on a little bit low of a coin budget, I'm going to be a slight bit greedy. And watch a couple of these open bids as well. See if we can catch a cheeky open bid in the next hour or two with a lot of the supply coming in. So these cards are low and I think some are gonna bounce back up. Oh my gosh, can I buy that please? Oh, so close man, 129, that would have been a banger price. So it looks like somebody else has got the great idea that I have too. But you know what, with all these listings that I see, keep, keep seeing pop up at the 59th, he's gonna be 1.3 mil in no time. So I'm gonna be trying to get one of these tonight, I think. Watching variety as well. Again, one thing that I like to do and I'm trying to flip these brand new promo cards is I look at rarity, right? I look at rarity. We have Acuna who's 94 rated. Watch, watch this, I'm gonna search with no price range. Acuna only has four and a half pages of supply on the entire market. Right now he is like 700K. He really hasn't dropped that much tonight to be completely honest. Let's check another 94 rated card, right? Verati. PSG links, pretty hyped card. This is arguably the best variety card we've ever seen. So we had four and a half pages of Acuna. We've got about five and a quarter pages of Verratti. Now let's look at Serge Gnabry. Because this is a very hyped card because there's not many Bundesliga uh, left mids uh, that are, you know, wow, 400K for this guy is really cheap too. And he only has five and a quarter pages as well. So Verratti and Gnabry are cards that I've traded with myself and actually seen move around. Now let's go to somebody like Delict. Um, who's probably a little bit more supplied because his price is cheaper, um, but also very in demand because of the, the Netherlands win yesterday, a lot of hype with that. And of course, center backs in the Serie A and the potential upgrade this guy could have if they keep going, 11 pages on him. Um, so then, you know, with a card like this, he's 275K right now. How many pages to 300? We have one, two, we're on the third page. If I saw like a 250 for this, which would be, you know, I think pretty feasible because Squad Battle Rewards is about two hours ago. There's still some undercuts, still some open bids. Like, boom, that one that was a 206 open bid or this one here at a 250. If his price keeps dropping, if I could snag this at 250, this could very easily be, you know, 280, 300K again in the morning. So that's the kind of stuff I'm going to be looking for tonight. If you don't want to mess with the impact stuff, plenty of stuff to look at that is out of packs, like the TOTS cards and stuff like that on this game. Now, there are supposedly some objectives you can grind together. I'm gonna have to get this card 100% this week, get my man Erickson. I think you can combine like, you know, some of these um, milestone objectives as well, since they're in squad battles, score 20 goals using English players, French players. Yeah, that's gonna be really easy to combine uh, if you're grinding some squad battles, which I think a lot of people did. But again, if you're grinding that this week as well, that's gonna be more packs and more rewards for whatever is out in packs next Sunday night into Monday with this sort of stuff 
too. So it's going to be an interesting week, you know, but it seems like it's going to be a hype week. I'm excited for the content that EA is bringing because it looks like this isn't like summer heat esque. Um, but I feel like we're going to have some sort of like party bag this week, right? So watch the code. We don't have anything spectacular to release right now in terms of what I've seen, uh, like new packs or pack code or anything like that. But you know, the colors of this kind of just signal a birthday party, right? With like all the colors under the rainbow completely to be completely honest, but I'm, I'm feeling some sort of like party bag gamble pack SBC this week, which would really be nice for fodder. They got that 81 plus player pick that is out. All the festival football daily challenges are coming out. And that's a sign that the content's pretty good. So I expect that to, to continue this week, which is why I'm a fan of that SBC fodder too, in terms of an investment, because I think that SBCs are going to be the focus of this week. And alongside the Euro games as well, um, I'll be interested to see what other player SBCs we get. Because we've only had just the one, uh, sorry, we've had two. We've had Florenzi and Jota, but I would expect at least one or two more of these actual PTG live player SBCs to be dropped this week as well. And they're picking some big nations, right? Portugal, Italy, you know, I, th I think we're due some more French, right? We're due a French player this week. I don't know who that would be, who they would throw in, somebody from the French squad. I'm really hoping for one of those guys today, and that could be an, uh, an SBC and uh, a player that would be released on the game that would make the market move a decent amount as well. So that's the video from me tonight, boys. Again, open bids, the name of the game, and undercuts. Like, again, you're seeing me watch these open bids on Phil Foden. I know a lot of hype right now is with the English national team with their this initial W that they just had uh, over Croatia. And, of course, building into this next week, what is that going to look like? for these guys so i'm very interested in some of these cards i'm i know a lot of you guys want to try out phil foden and stuff like that so i think there's going to be some market movements to swing this guy's price up unless there's over investing oh my gosh did i just see this correctly pause sorry boys i'm like in full trading mode at the moment Verati 470 did i just see that 485 oh my goodness man that's the thing when you have all this extra supply from squad battles the undercuts just keep coming and you think you got the lowest price but then it just keeps getting undercut. So this variety of 500K was tempting to me, but with all this extra supply tonight, I'm kind of, I'm hitting the pause button for right now because there's not a lot of buyers out here and it's getting lower. So I'm just rambling at this point. But if you guys did enjoy this video, that is the market outlook for this week on FIFA 21 with Festival of Football. EA Sports, the one thing we have to have this week, man of the match cards, okay? Drop them, put a new pack design, whatever you got to do. Man of the match cards. We need him, all right? But that's the video, boys. If you did enjoy it, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And subscribe if you're new. It's been Nathan Foot Account, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.